let us understand about cell now you know have you often seen that there are human beings okay there are plants and there is something like a amoeba all these human bodies the plants and other form are made up of cells technically speaking a cell is the smallest unit of life okay and it's let's say something like this okay although i have drawn it so big the cell is normally so small that you can't see it with a naked eye something like a human being is made up of millions and millions of cells same is the case with plants however there is something an organism called amoeba which is made up of single cell okay and a cell is basically the smallest unit of life now there are parts of the cell which one really needs to know so inside the cell you have a thick part okay which is known as the nucleus okay the outside part or the layer is known as cell membrane this is this skinny layers then you would have various small 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 parts okay there's a liquid which is filled within the cell and this is known as cytoplasm okay and then there are certain small small bodies within the cell which are known as mitochondria okay so this is the composition of a cell these small small holes that are coming in are known as vacuole now each of these parts have a function to perform so let's say the cell membrane or this outer part this basically is meant for protection of the cell and it's a passage for movement into and outside the cell okay so it's kind of the wall of the cell now these small antibodies called mitochondria are meant for respiration or release of energy okay these vacuoles basically are used for holding air water or food these are kind of the go downs okay and cytoplasm the thick jelly like liquid this is responsible for carrying out metabolism okay so that's about a cell the parts of the cell and how they work